Lois Nettleton, a talented actress, left a lasting impression with her work. Whether it's a favorite scene from one of her roles or a story that inspired you, many have been touched by what she did. We'd love to hear your special memories and experiences in the Kamala entrance below. Stay tuned for more interesting, funny, and touching facts about this wonderful actor. Your stories matter, and we're excited to hear them. Filmography Lois Nettleton appeared in various movies and television shows throughout her career. Some of her most recognized projects include In the Heat of the Night, The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas, and Mirrors. Must-watch movies for fans eager to explore her work. Some must-watch movies include In the Heat of the Night, where she delivers a strong performance alongside Sidney Poitier. The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas showcases her versatility in a lively musical comedy. Additionally, Mirrors offers a glimpse into her talent in the horror genre. Recomalantrandations for those new to her work, In the Heat of the Night serves as an excellent starting point, providing a compelling narrative and strong performances. The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas offers a delightful blend of music and comedy, showcasing her ability to entertain audiences. Meanwhile, Mirrors provides a thrilling experience for viewers interested in suspenseful storytelling. Actress Lois Nettleton attended the 2007 Twilight Zone convention at the Hilton Hasbrock Heights in New Jersey. At WJM TV, there was a high turnover rate and station managers. Among them were Richard Rote, Robert Hogan, Ron Rifkin, Lois Nettleton, David Ogden Stiers, and Vincent Gardenia. Stiers was the only one to appear in the role more than once. In her feature film debut, she portrayed Mr. Macy's nurse in a face in the crowd, albeit uncredited. She played the role of the nurse, marking her first appearance on the big screen. It was a significant start for her, stepping onto the grand stage of cinema with a character that left an impression, despite the lack of formal recognition in the credits. The role, though brief, showcased her talent and hinted at the promising career ahead. With each subsequent project, she solidified her standing in the industry, earning respect and admiration from peers and audiences alike. Her journey from the small screen to the silver screen was just beginning, setting the stage for a career filled with memorable performances and significant contributions to the world of entertainment. And all this began with that uncredited role, a mere glimpse of her potential that would soon captivate audiences worldwide. The actress's influence would extend far beyond that initial appearance, but it was an important stepping stone on her path to success. This is the story of a talent that would leave a lasting impression on the industry. In The Fugitive, Lucy Russell, played by Lois Nettleton, stood out among a talented cast including Kurt Russell, Peter Mark Richmond, Richard Anderson, Ed Begley Jr., and Paul Richards. The show's changing cast added depth and variety, but Nettleton's performance brought a special charm to her character, earning recognition from viewers. Nettleton's talent wasn't limited to TV. In 1976, she was nominated for a prestigious Tony Award for her role as Best Actress in a Featured Role, showing her versatility and skill on stage. This nomination confirmed her as a strong talent in both TV and theater. Her love for acting started early. As a child, she wrote and acted in her own plays. At just seven, she turned her backyard into a stage, entertaining her audience with her stories. This early talent hinted at her successful career ahead. Throughout her career, Nettleton's dedication and ability to play diverse roles won over audiences and critics. Her work in entertainment continues to be celebrated, leaving a lasting impact on acting. This is the story of a true artist. Lois Nettleton, the actress, faced challenging personal relationships and life struggles. Despite her success on stage and screen, her personal life had its share of difficulties. She grappled with turbulent relationships, which sometimes overshadow with her professional achievements. These struggles could be emotionally taxing, impacting her well-being and career. Navigating through difficult relationships, she often found herself in situations where trust was tested and conflicts arose. These challenges, whether with romantic partners, friends, or family, were not uncommon in her life. She had to confront issues of loyalty, honesty, and communication, striving to maintain balance amidst turmoil. Like many, Lois faced setbacks and disappointments. These experiences, though trying, contributed to her growth as an individual and as an artist. Through perseverance and resilience, she continued to pursue her passion for acting despite the obstacles she encountered. Her journey serves as a reminder that success in one aspect of life does not guarantee smooth sailing in others. 
Lois Nettleton's story highlights the complexity of human relationships and the resilience required to overcome personal struggles while pursuing one's dreams. Lois Nettleton, a native of the Chicago area, spent much of her life in California. However, despite her ties to these places, she found her final resting place at St. Raymond's Cemetery in the Bronx, New York. In 1959, she earned recognition for her talent, winning a Clarence Derwent Award for Best Supporting Performance by a non-featured actress for her role in God and Kate Murphy. Later, she attended the 26th Twilight Zone Convention at the Hilton Hasbrouck Heights in New Jersey on August 12, 13, 2006. Despite her diverse travels and accomplishments, Lois Nettleton's story ultimately led her to a quiet resting place far from her native Chicago and California homes in the Bronx, New York. Lois Nettleton, known for her role as Dulcie Me in The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas, shared the stage with Burt Reynolds in a 1972 Chicago production of The Rainmaker. Born to Edward and Virginia Nettleton, she was crowned Miss Chicago in 1948 and made it to the semifinals at the Miss America pageant that same year. She found herself in the spotlight when she became the first caller on Gene Shepard's late-night radio program on WRAM. Her on-air conversations with Shepard led to her becoming a frequent guest, earning her the nickname The Caller. Together, they developed a call and radio show, showcasing her versatility beyond the stage. This actress, also known as Miss Chicago 1948, took her talents from the beauty pageant stage to radio, leaving a lasting impact on the world of entertainment. Lois Nettleton was a lifelong liberal Democrat who dedicated her career to acting. Born in 1927 in Illinois, she loved acting from a young age and studied drama at the Goodman Theater in Chicago before moving to New York City. She made her Broadway debut in 1949 and later appeared in many TV shows and movies. On television, she was in series like The Twilight Zone, The Fugitive, and Gunsmoke. In movies, she starred in The Best Man and Butterflies Are Free. Throughout her career, she stayed true to her liberal beliefs and often spoke out for social justice. Lois Nettleton's talent, versatility, and common treatment to her principles made her a memorable figure in entertainment and society. Her work will be remembered for years to come. Lois Nettleton, an actress well-known in the entertainment industry, has a rather sad story. Despite her successful career, she faced personal challenges. She went through a tough time financially, which was unexpected given the glamour of Hollywood. This shows that even famous people can have hidden difficulties. However, Nettleton didn't let these challenges defeat her. She kept going, showing both professional and personal strength. Her life shows that success on the outside doesn't always mean everything is perfect on the inside. Even though she had personal struggles, Lois Nettleton left a strong impression on acting. Her dedication to her work and her ability to overcome tough times are important parts of her story. Looking at both her triumphs and trials gives a better understanding of who she was beyond her roles in movies and shows. In short, Lois Nettleton faced challenges but showed what resilience both in her career and personal life. Her story shows that people in the entertainment industry are complex 